Hello, I hope that you are well and today I'm going to be sharing what is probably my favorite journaling video of the year, which is my yearly journaling setup. So I am going to be using a little bit of a different journal this year and it's going to be this lovely vintage one. And this is a handmade journal filled with handmade paper, which is why every page is different and unique and some of them are a little bit crinkled and they all have this kind of speckled texture that I really liked, as well as these rough edges that just make me think of ancient texts and make me really, really excited to use this notebook. And the pages are not bleached, so they're not white. In fact, the color is kind of close to craft paper, but not exactly the same. But since the pages are definitely darker, I'm actually going to be using a lot of different white papers in this setup, because I thought that they would stand out against this particular paper a lot better than they would against white paper. And to match the super vintage feel of this notebook, I'm going to be going for a vintage scrapbook theme. And I'm starting off simple by just saying hello 2023. And I use a white marker for hello, and it's actually a really fun one as well. It kind of appears slowly over time, so it makes it a little bit hard to write with because I have no idea how it actually looks as I'm writing it. But it's also kind of fun to watch it magically appear on the page. And 2023 I wrote in somewhat larger font, but again, I kept things pretty simple. But to make it just a little bit more fun, I added a very subtle drop shadow in gold to the numbers and used the black fine liner pen to go over the white hello, just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then it was time for my favorite part, which is decorating the page. And I'm going to be doing that with some stickers, papers, and a skeleton leaf. And I think I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent to <laughs> tell you about a story about skeleton leaves. I actually got a card once that somebody handmade and they added skeleton leaves to it. And I'd never seen them before and for some reason I fell in love with them. And for the longest time I couldn't find them anywhere. So my only experience of skeleton leaves was from this one card. And then one day, while just browsing Amazon for something completely different, I stumbled onto skeleton leaves there. And it was a whole pack of leaves and I ordered them and I have been using them in my journals ever since. And they're actually one of my favorite things to use in my journals, although I don't use them very often for some reason. Anyways, I decided to add one here. But before I got to that, I'm just layering some white papers and washi tape for that scrapbook feel. And then just putting the skeleton leaf on top of the writing. And I really liked that the skeleton leaf is fairly transparent, so you can still see everything underneath, but it kind of peeks out from behind the leaf, and I just really enjoyed that part. And to finish off the page, I added one more cotton sticker and just a few pieces of these pearly stickers, just to make things a little bit more interesting and to add a bit of a 3D element to the page. Now let's move on to what is probably my simplest spread from this entire setup, and it's my future log. And in the past, I've added calendars to this spread, but this time I decided to keep it simple because honestly, I never really look at the calendars when I fill it out. So I just wrote the titles of the names of the month and left enough space for me to write down important tasks or events for each month. And I had to keep the spread simple because that took up most of the page, so I only had a little bit of space at the top to actually decorate. And I decided to do that by adding a little bit of cotton washi tape, as well as some more pearly stickers, and going over the title in black just to make it stand out a little bit more. For the next spread, on the left we have things to keep doing, things to start doing, and things to stop doing. And I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to go into how I decorated that spread. And I kept the left-hand side fairly simple, underlining each title with a little bit of sparkly washi tape, just to make it a little bit more fun. But the right-hand side of the page I definitely decorated quite a bit more. And I started by layering plain white paper with a bit of that sparkly paper and writing the title on top of that. And then to decorate that corner, I added a fairly large cotton sticker as well as some cotton washi tape. And 
and a bunch more of these pearly stickers. And I actually decided to separate them into single pearls and to just spread them around to kind of fill in all of the tiny empty spaces around the title. The next page is actually one of my favorites from this entire setup. And I'm just starting that one by layering some book pages with these tags. And I'm actually going to be using the tags for the titles. So the left hand side is my bucket list for the year and the right hand side is a looking forward to section. So there I'm just going to be writing down all of the things that I'm looking forward to for 2023. Now, to decorate the spread, I just added two cotton stickers and a whole bunch of pearls all around just to fill in some of those empty spaces and to make the spread a little bit more fun. And there's just something about the spread that feels very cohesive to me, and so it actually ended up being one of my favorites from this entire setup. For the next spread, I actually used two different colors for the titles, just because I wanted to separate the numbers or kind of timeframes from the second part of the title. And the left-hand side is my 2023 goals and my 2023 dreams. And the right-hand side is my 5-year goals and my 10-year goals. So much more long-term. And I've been including more long-term goals for the last few setups and I just find that it's kind of really helpful for me to think about my life in a more long-term way because I tend not to do that as much except to kind of berate myself about things I have not yet accomplished. So this spread has a motivational spin to it instead. And I decorated the page with some more cotton stickers, one on each page, and I also underlined the year and the time frame with some more of those pearl stickers just to make them stand out a little bit more. The next pages, I'm starting off with this beige scrapbooking paper, and some of the flowers on it just kind of reminded me of cotton flowers, so I decided to use that as a base for the title. It still feels very vintage, so I still think that it goes with the theme pretty well. And the spread on the left is how I am now, so how I'm feeling, how my life is going, and all manner of things like that. And the spread on the right is how I'm hoping to be. So kind of what I want to keep from the how I am now section and what I want to change. And to decorate this page a little bit more, I layered some cotton washi tape and sparkly washi tape at the bottom of the page. added a few rhinestone stickers around the title, just to kind of add a little bit of sparkle. At first I was thinking of adding pearls, just like I've been doing for most of the pages so far, but I thought that the pearls would kind of get lost against the white paper, so I went for rhinestones instead. next spread. The loved page is actually something that I've done a lot and it is a good thing spread. So there I'm just going to be writing down some of the good things about the year. But the right hand side is actually a first for me and it is a letter to my future self. And I wrote it on this lined piece of paper that I tore out of a notebook because I thought that that gave it a really vintage feel. And I'm actually going to be using some wax to seal it and I'm going to break that seal at the end of the year and open it then. Other than 
the wax seal, I also added a few stickers just to decorate that part a little bit more. And then I went back to the left hand side and decided to go over the title in black just to make it stand out a little bit better. I didn't actually want to add too much to the right hand side because I really liked the vintage feel of the paper with the seal, so I just added one cotton sticker there and decided to call it a day. I did add quite a bit more to the left hand side though, and there I started off by adding one small cotton sticker next to the title, just to fill in that small empty space, and then added a lot of layering to the bottom of the page. Layering some book pages, sparkly paper, washi tape, and another large cotton sticker for that vintage scrapbook feel. next spread, I started by using a cotton sticker to underline the title. And this is my check-in spread, so here I'm just going to be writing down anything that I kind of need to keep track of, how I've been doing in terms of my goals, in terms of my dreams, and things like that. And to decorate the spread a little bit more, I added some washi tape around the title, just to fill in that empty space, as well as some more cotton washi tape to the bottom, layering that with some more of that sparkly tape as well. And just because that spread still felt a little bit too simple for me, I decided to spice it up by adding some more of those rhinestone stickers in the middle of the grid washi tape. The next spread actually has to do with 2022, and it is my 2022 in review spread, and I thought that it would be a good idea in the beginning of a new year to review the old one, and to kind of think about what worked, what didn't, and things like that. So here is where that is going to go. And to decorate the spread a little bit, I'm just layering some cotton washi tape as well as that grid washi tape on both sides of the spread. And then adding some pearl stickers to fill in the empty space around the title. And because I really liked the look of those rhinestone stickers in the middle of the grid washi tape, I actually decided to repeat that again for this spread. And it also has the added benefit of adding a lot more sparkle, and I'm a big fan of sparkly things. The next spread is actually the final spread for this setup, and here I'm starting off by using some more of that sparkly paper at the bottom corners, and adding some cotton stickers on top of that. And I also decided to bring back some skeleton leaves, but I didn't think that there was enough space on this page for a full leaf on both sides, so I decided to cut it in half, and add half to the left and half to the right, and I'm actually really happy with how that came out. My final touch for the spread was just adding the title, which is 2022 Highlights, and I decided to make things a little bit more fun there by writing it in different colors and underlining the left-hand side with rhinestones and the right-hand side with pearls, just to kind of mix things up a little bit. And here I will be writing down all of the best things that happened in 2022, just to make sure that my focus is on the positive things that happened during the year rather than the negative ones.
and that was it for this setup. I have to say this is probably my favorite yearly setup that I've ever done. A big part of that definitely has to do with the vintage journal, which I absolutely love and it's like nothing else that I own, so I was really really excited to use it and it definitely makes the pages feel a lot more vintage and unique. But I'm also really happy with how all of the pages turned out in general. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have a particular theme in mind for your 2023 setup and if you have any favorite spreads from the setup I showed you today. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Be you always. Bye!